Yes, we are ready for the event. Yeah, it's been an exciting day for us to have the opportunity to see the eclipse from here. Well, I'd seen pictures from previous eclipse, and so I think I had underestimated uh, what this would look like. This was much darker than I gave it credit for being. Unfortunately, it it's, uh, was kind of near the, the limb, near the edge of the Earth from our view, so several hundred miles away. Um, but uh, it still was uh, impressive uh, to be able to see that dark spot as we passed by. That's certainly a, uh, a big question. Um, you, know, you look down at the, at the size of the shadow and, and you know, we've gotten used to the, the scope and scale of what the Earth looks like from here and just understanding how many people will be affected by that. And a friend of mine the other day you know, mentioned that, and it kind of really uh, came to me you know, we, were, we were actually looking at it, was that few, just a few hundred years ago, human beings wouldn't have even known that the eclipse was coming. And so here you are looking up and all of a sudden the sun is, disappearing and you know what are the thoughts for all of you know human existence where everybody's looking up going the gods must be angry at us you know and now we have the ability not only to know it's coming people are excited about it we know people that travel to go be under the umbra you know and and making an event you know a celestial event and for us being able to witness it from above was just really special because it represents how far we've come with the technology we have. I mean, look, we're on the International Space Station where we're doing, you know, more than 250 different experiments and working with an international team. Look at where we're at. And so I look forward to the next time we have a full uh, eclipse. Maybe we'll be taking pictures from a lot farther away. <laughs> yes, it was awesome sauce time, Stu. And, and Rob, you know, this has been a, a huge coordination effort. Uh, Comrade uh, Randy has been in charge of planning uh, where all of us would be and a, and a little orchestra of which window, which camera. Uh, so he did a great job with that. I was actually supposed to be taking off a window pane or a scratch pane right now, but uh, due to 
the lighting and how we're we're going about it. We don't really need to. So I got I got lucky and got to join all these <laughs> folks for the BAO event. Uh, it it was, you know, uh, Peggy said she was she underestimated it. I definitely did. Uh, just judging from the pictures. Um, that spot was, you know, a lot darker and a lot larger than I thought it would be. And, you know, I, I kind of was sitting in the Russian segment at the window thinking, you, you remember snipe hunts? I was like, man, this is kind of like a snipe hunt. I think somebody's pulling a joke on me. And then all of a sudden this huge black shadow was going across the earth. So it was, it was amazing and it was cool to see uh, from this vantage point. So absolutely awesome sauce times three, Rob. Three, chocolate awesome sauce with a sun, a side of sun awesome sauce. I don't know. It was awesome, Rob. Well, six years ago, I, I was kind of alone there on the Soyuz capsule taking pictures. So uh, through the, the rest of the team, uh, Dimitri Contrati was flying the Soyuz and uh, Katie Coleman was actually taking uh, timing and telling me. But it was, uh, it was me with one camera and a video camera and taking picture here. Today we had, uh, as you saw from the, from the photo that uh, Two Fish Jack sent this morning, we had an armada of, of uh, equipment. We had multiple places. We were flying back and forth from the station to the Kulpula Russian segment, up and down. And uh, it was a, a completely different orchestrated uh, uh, system. It was, I was impressed too by the shadow passing by. I've seen some pictures. Uh, but uh, and I always, as a kid, I always thought the the Ombra would be kind of a square, defined square. But but it was not. It's kind of a smudge. And this is interesting to actually see this from your for, with your own eyes. Now, certainly, uh, everyone has their, their favorite things that they wanted to do, um, but we had to divide up the task because we couldn't have everybody doing the same thing. And so we even you know, took the still shots and said, okay, we're going to shoot this particular type and this particular speed uh, from you know, this particular person, so we're going to vary it from over here to ensure that we were able to capture the images as best we could to share it with you all. Um, Cupola was a little crowded because we had uh, some a bunch of cameras, a bunch of people, and the big thing was to try and not bump the video cameras. Sorry for the one when you saw, um, but you know when you see all the video and the pictures, it's not any one person that took them. It's the Expedition 52 crew, to include our Russian crewmates, and so that's that's where the credit goes because everybody did their part, not you know doing what they wanted to do, which is a definition of teamwork, and that's why we're here. Well, I think the, having the privilege of being on three different long duration missions has given me a lot of interesting experiences. And this is just another one to, to put in the, the history books for my, my memory. Uh, I really enjoyed seeing this. Um, and I think maybe a little more than I expected to. And so it's just another little piece, another memory, another very special event, another very special day uh, of this fantastic experience of being in space.
Well, I mean, I just feel like the whole experience of being here, of living here, is on a daily basis very special. There's just very special parts of, of each and every day. Um, I do think this one is very nice. We've seen some incredible auroras lately. Uh, I've uh, really enjoyed uh, seeing scientific research getting completed, some really cool research getting completed. And of course, you can't beat the view uh, during a spacewalk, uh, but it's, it's just a piece of this huge puzzle of why being in space is so beautiful.